snow. <coughs> snow. 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 Imagine a place in the highest mountains, <coughs> frosted little houses, shards of glass hanging from a wishing well. It's so cold here, people's glasses freeze to their faces. Faces! faces. The ink turns to ice before it hits the page. Page! Nothing will grow here, even a turnip turns to glass. Glass! So our people eat half meat and wolf meat. Meat. And sometimes even reindeer. Reindeer. You see, you have to be made of grit. Grit! To live here. You have to be made of mountain rock. A little old lady will put your feet here. People here, they can enjoy anything. Survive anything. Is that the best you've got? Something has happened here. Hey! But we don't like to speak of it. Shh. As you look at this scene, what do you see missing? Men, women, children, but the youths. Like my son, my, my daughter. daughter. Control yourselves! And the people here in these parts they call it the monster. The monster. The monster. Our people have lived here for hundreds of years. And we can cope with almost anything. Like frozen snot. Or even our fingers <laughs> falling off. Even permanent brain freeze. But there's one thing that shakes us. Shakes us. More than an avalanche. Than an avalanche. Except shivers through. Shivers through. And that something is a sickness called the monstrum. The monstrum! The monstrum! The monstrum! It's a terrible thing when you're afraid of your children. It's a terrible thing when you fear what they have become. It's a terrible thing when you're locking your bedroom doors and you feel unsure that, that these are your children at all. We look for signs. We look for markings. Warning of the disease's approach. Hairs on the knuckles. Oozing pustules. And, and their heads may have become ever so slightly larger. <gasps> Once it's in the system, it's in the system. This is where the infection truly takes hold. They swell with muscle and fat. Their bones become brittle. And their eyes become redder, redder than red. red. It's a terrible thing when you're afraid of your children. It's a terrible thing when you fear what they've become. It's a terrible thing when you're walking your bedroom door and you feel sure that these are your children at all. One morning, there's a snap and a snap. Before you know it, they're towering over us. Their hair is now dark. Their hair is now coarse. And some of them are completely covered. And they're sweating. And they're fevered. And they're rabid. It's like somebody took my child. It's a terrible thing when you afraid your children. It's a terrible thing when you don't think you're It's a terrible thing when you don't think you're And you don't think you're That means you're not children at all. It's a terrible thing when you're afraid of your
your children. It's a terrible thing when you fear what they become. It's a terrible thing when you're loving your bed and go. And you feel sure that these are your children as well. We face near extinction. I do not say this lightly. This, this is our coldest winter yet. We, we are barely enough to feed ourselves, never mind our animals. And the coal shed, the coal shed is mounting up with bodies because it takes days to bury them, because the ground will not thaw. With the spread of this infection, we are losing our young day by day. Our commitment to stamping out the monstrum must be stronger than ever! Yeah! I've asked you to remain vigilant, to look for signs of the disease's approach, physical, but also a strangeness, a desire beyond what is normal, a liking for the bloody. Kevin? <laughs> Is this your son, Prabhin? Yeah. Traitor. How long has he been infected? He's been showing signs for about a week. Well, I didn't know. Just a little agitation. And he's eating. We tell ourselves it isn't happening. I would have handed him over. But you enough. waited. And here he is now. <laughs> You see why we go to such lengths to protect ourselves from this abomination. Can you imagine what would happen if we allowed this disease to manifest itself in our little town? Just, just one youth, two youths, three youths, and then suddenly... Why would you want to keep such a creature, Freddy? thought I could help him. Will you, will you turn on us? And where is Lubusa? Lubusa handed her son over the moment she turned. She dragged him from her home with her bare hands, didn't you? I did what was necessary. Exactly. Think about her every day. Wonder if she's okay out there. She's never coming back. If your daughters survive out there, then they return to you as, as women, strong and ready to work. Yes, my Andy. Do you know what is our first sister for dealing with first signs of the infection? We contain them. And then? We report them. And then? They are assessed. I doubt there is need for assessment here, is there? No. no. I dream of a day that the monster would die out completely, that we would no longer have to live our lives in fear of its approach, of it wearing its look in our children's eyes. <laughs> I am not going to cast this creature out. What? Today is a very fortunate day for our friend Previn here. Many of you have had sons and daughters that presented like his son, Thomas here, and they have been let loose to survive the wild. Some have returned, others have not. Now, as you may know, I have personally tasked Bowl at the Scholar with finding a cure. And I am pleased to say that just a few days ago, he now made a breakthrough. What is it? There is still some way to go, but we potentially may have something that will stop the monster dead in its tracks. That will stop your children from ever developing these symptoms. Please, Mayor, tell me what it is. I must know. I cannot get into the technical details with you yet. Most of us cannot understand the intricate workings of the brain. The brain? Yes. This infection starts in the brain, 
we know of that much from Bonus experimenting with rats. But what he needs now is a human subject. Oh. Your son, Prebin. That's what you get. But, but, but Mayor, what, what if something happens? It already has to happen. Open your eyes. Here in this place, we survive for each other. We live for each other. That is the only thing that keeps us surviving. That is the reason that your, our people have survived here. Excellent. You will hear soon. When it used to be a catcher, if there was a hundred rats and I killed fifty of them, the next week there'll be two hundred. They wouldn't eat poison or get caught in a trap if I used it once. I'd have to lie under the floorboards, very still, quiet. <laughs> you know, I swear <laughs> that rats love <laughs> you. I think I'm crazy, but it's true. I could hear them. Rats are much like us. We're both warm. Rats eat everything we do. They live where we live. Most important, they suffer the same diseases. They respond to injury and infection the same way we do. We have the same organs and very similar brains. <coughs> Rats are perfect. I tried pinpricks, isolation, drowning. Some of them became very agitated indeed. Aggressive, snappy. I noticed a change in the front part of the brain, it swelled ever so slightly. It's gone darker. Very curious, very curious indeed. I compared this with a rat that had not got my program of stress, and the difference was significant. This that this is where the infection takes hold. This holds the mind. Very intrinsically, I snit some of these wires in the rat's brain. Snit, snit. <laughs> so, you're just going to cut a wire in its brain? Through the eye to sever the wire. But will it? Will he, the creature, will it feel pain? <laughs> Dead life. The exciting part! The black cherry plant. The, 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 the devil's herb, don't bring that near me! I'm wearing gloves, you see. Yes. But yes. it usually isn't too harmful to touch. But, but that is the devil's plant! Just a useful need to stop children from eating its berries. I know, but anyone that looks at I'm it. Aware of the it brings death! It is, certainly. This is the property I was interested in. The root. Highly toxic. But if I moisten it in some wine vinegar, do you know what happens? What? Having it naturally induces sleep. Anyone who sniffs the right quantities sleep up and place over the mouth is lulled into a happy deep sleep. So we won't feel any pain? Not at all. I'm not quite sure. You said yourself that if we delay any of our food, that many of our young that yeah. this village will grind to a standstill, we will all no, perish. But perhaps it isn't as bad as you say. We we are identifying cases quicker. How many years have you been there? I've been in touch with some for quite a while. Come to deal with it. Ramblin's girl hasn't been to church for the past two years. Yes, but I just want to be sure. 
eyes pieces like Preben Boy's head for good reason. People are already wary of you, Bowler. And if I do, cold, shall I say, and you don't help yourself, creeping around the coal shed, examining dead bodies at night. People still remember that business with you and your wife. I just need to know that you believe this to be a success. All I know is that nothing gets nothing. No. I don't see people. I, I have people all day long knocking on my door. They expect answers. They expect me to have these answers. How can you answer a curse? I see the whips. Oh, it's Milena. How does such beauty come from you, Bolek? They're <coughs> training the creature for outside. This is not the place for young ladies to be, Milana. I'll be assisting my father tomorrow. Uh, surely not. Milana is quite accomplished. She has a keen interest in philosophy, the laws of nature, and alchemy. One day she will leave here and become a physician. She's the most beautiful daughter. Her and my dad will really do give people hope. Thank you. Very lucky to have her. Now I thought that if there's nothing else, we must prepare for tomorrow. Okay. I have a very much clearer picture of your your proposed treatment plan. I pray that God guides you, should I say the vote for both of you? We are all time to Why are you scratching? They're chaining the creature up outside. I can hear it's like, don't freeze to death out there. They don't feel like we do. Still, maybe I should go out there, check if he's okay. You shall go nowhere near that thing. Do you hear me? Nothing can jeopardize tomorrow. The mayor's on edge enough. Do you hear? The black cherry hunt. The devil's herd. These people. These people believe so many things that have no evidence and they question the things that do. This has to go perfectly for the Oh, they'll turn. Mark my words, I was scuttling under the floorboard again, catching rats to make our living. You don't want that, do you? No. Come. I will place a cloth over the creature's mouth until it is unconscious. The creature is sedated. The straps are secure. I will place a cloth over the right side of the creature's skull. The creature appears stable and prepared. I will use the ice pick and line it up with the left eye socket and insert it using a hammer. I will then move the ice pit from side to side to sever the wire connecting the front part of the brain to the rest of the brain. I will, I will place the cloth over the right side of the creature's skull. I will do the same procedure on the right I will wipe away any excess blood and place a cloth containing ice over the creature's eyes. I will waft smelling salts underneath the creature's nose. Does the creature, does 
the boy still appeared physically unwell. Is he disturbed, restless? Does he fidget uncontrollably? Is he hot, fevered, sweaty? Is he combative? Is he able to communicate? Can we understand him? Will he, will the creature suffer? No one else. When I take you to the city, when we attend a live lecture, they will dissect real cadavers before your very eyes. You must get over this squeamishness. I didn't like what we did to the rat. I don't know what's with you lately, but your capacity for reason seems to be slipping. I just want to be sure. Then be sure of me. I am your father. Since when have you ever questioned what I told you? I'll put the fight in the bucket for tomorrow. Melena, come here. What's that in your face? I caught myself, it's a scratch. Is it? Is that a spot? No. Let me see your nails. I need to cut them. You really must be doing these checks each morning. I don't need any tingling in the gums. No. Spit. Clear. Normal. <laughs> Excess hair. Any strange thoughts? Dark thoughts? However small? No. Get some rest. I heard Mel Lenzel mention mother. They still whisper about her, don't they? People still whisper about me. They thought she was a witch. There is no such thing! <coughs> Your mother. Something wasn't right in her. She needed... <coughs> Our work here is more important than ever. You know that, don't you? Yeah. Get some rest. No starts now. Says you're supposed to put a whole meal. Is that in one egg shell? That's impossible. <laughs> it's another 